World 5 Sky World, you're going to heaven. Am I? I have a feeling this is heaven and then World 6 is going to be hell. Which one do I prefer? Super Rubber Ross World or Super Cyboy Koopa World? <sighs> Honestly, I feel like I would need to play them both through again to be able to decide. Oh, hey, 100 seconds. In terms of super worlds I played, they're definitely like number one and number two. But if I if you're asking me to rank them off the top of my head, I couldn't say. Like I'm nostalgic for Super Rubber Ross World just because, like I said, this is what got me into like streaming and making videos and playing Mario Maker in the first place. So it's I'd have to somehow not take that into consideration, which is hard to do. Nostalgia can be strong sometimes. Just like my love for Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. That game is probably terrible. I'd probably hate it if I went back to play it now. But it's part of my childhood, so how can I deny part of my childhood like that? There was a bottom path to get the 50 coin? Ah, nuts. How would you describe your world? Uh, I so I'm really I'm I'm definitely enjoying it so far. I would say there was like that one issue with the soft lock at the beginning. There's some like inconsistency in terms of difficulty, but I'm having a really good time with it so far. Your worlds are vastly different in style. Totally, I would agree with that. Have I ever played Aegis Cook's World? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. 3 Jump Mansion. Nostalgia really hits for New Super Mario Wii, but it's not as great of a game as Wonder. Yeah, I mean, we all have those games that we're nostalgic for, I would say. Is this a puzzle? I think it is. Like for me, nostalgia is like, I would say, Super Mario 64. Do I think it's a great game now? I mean, I still think it's a good game, but I... Th oh, is this like a speed run? Am I supposed to go faster? Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Three jump mansion. So am I only allowed to make three jumps? Because every time I jump, there is an on-off switch flipping. You get three jumps per room. Okay. It's kind of what I was thinking. When did I jump more than three times in this room? <laughs> was that a Fanto key? Okay, well, at least the door is right here, so I don't have to worry about that. Nice. I'm just being patient right now. Did, when did I jump more than three times? I swear that was only three. Alright, so let's all count together. Y'all want a math lesson? We're gonna count to three. One. Two. Three. 
I need somebody in chat to, to explain that one to me. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the mushroom. Let's do this. Okay, so far we're doing okay. Alright, well that worked. The only thing is we can't get the 10 coin, because we can't get the mushroom. All right, let's do this. Down pipe number one. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see if I can reset it. There we go. I'm going to try to grab that 30 coin on the other side. So it seems like if we do grab a mushroom on this side, it's not so bad. It's really only the first area that got screwed up with the mushroom for whatever reason. Oh my god. Jump on the box. You stupid little toad, you. Come on. Give me the 30. Come on. Come on. There we go. Through the door. I'm not going to worry about the top of the flag. We beat the level. That's all I really care about. It's unfortunate about the jank, but... I mean, we figured out a way past it. Thank you, Albert, for helping with your theory. Alright, next level. It's Tawa time. Blazing Bastion. Woo! That's a big old fire bar. Woo! That's a smaller fire bar. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth the risk for the 10 coin. But not actually. Oh, there's a 30 coin there. And a lava bubble. I didn't... I was just gonna say, I didn't get wrecked by the lava bubble for once, but lo and behold, the dang Koopa did me in. Woo! I don't know how I clutched that out. Holy crap. Holy crap. Is there a key somewhere? Is that a key? Okay, good. The lava bubble strikes again. You're not wrong, my friend. That's fine. I'll take that. Hey, it's a spinning wheel. Haven't seen one of these in a few months.
starting to gain on us. Wait, is there a Bowser Jr.? Somewhere? I'll take the extra life. Ooh, that was close. Man, these god dang hammer bros. I had a feeling that was coming. Of course there was a lava bubble there. Why the hell wouldn't there be a lava bubble there? Just to piss me off somehow. I gotta say, I do like that the hammer bros are very consistent in their throwing of the hammers. All right. Okay, there's one. There's two. Oh, here come the fire bars again. Yeah, I figured it was just easiest to damage boost through there. Please let me out of here. Let me out of this level. I'm tired of the spinning wheel of fiery doom. I almost got trolled by the fire there. That was so close. And I would have rage quit so hard. But not really. Because I do want to beat this world. Whew. That was a tough one. Thank God we made it through that. Mount Ballistics. Don't you like difficulty? I love difficulty. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about the difficulty at all. I just wanted to rage quit if I would have gotten burned by that, uh, the darn fire. How do we get that coin? How do you get down there? There we go. SMB2? I'll take it. Never mind. I won't take it, because I lost it. Oh, and lost my mushroom as well. Well, screw it. Why not just go for the trifecta of death there? Ha! Dude, come on. Well, I guess we'd have to ride that mole, and there's probably going to be a 30 coin over there. Yep. So if we get another SMB2 mushroom, we'll have to make sure to come back to that. Well, well, <laughs> my god. All this crap can just go away. That'd be wonderful. All right, let's ride the mole across. All right, let's go back this way. Sure, why not? What did I think of Blazing Bastion? Is that the level I just played? <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember level names. Was that the level before this? I really like the spinning fire, uh, fire bars. That was really cool. Um... I just, I got wrecked quite a few times by Lava Bubbles and Hammer Bros. But it was really good. I really, dang it. I really liked the, uh, the difficulty of the level. It was really well done. Well, that's kind of unfortunate that I lost my SMB2 mushroom, but hey, there's a replacement. Very handy. Wait, do I want to go across here? I guess so. Or I could have probably just jumped up, maybe. Um, 
sure what's up here. Hey, we got the 50 coin. That was a nice reward. I'll take that. You could always go back and watch the VOD if you want to. It should be up. Nice. This is a really cool level too. I really like the use of the SMB2 mushroom, especially to get the bonus coins. was very nice. That level reminds me of that World 5 stage from SMB2 with the albatrosses. Not gonna lie, I have never played SMB2 beyond like, maybe like for 10 minutes here or there. Something about this style and just the game in general never really grabbed my attention as a kid. And can I cheese it with a cloud? I will gladly take it. I will take this cloud as far as it will take me. Well, there's a 30 coin. I missed a 10 coin, but I'm not too worried about that. I am going to try for that 30 coin, though. Nice. World 6 was the one I was looking forward to the most with your reactions. Yeah, and I will totally come back to it for sure. I'll even make a promise to stream it. I just can't guarantee when that will be. Whoops! Didn't mean to jump up into there. This is your favorite level because of the boss. Okay. Whoa, that was close. God, this is terrifying. No! I was hoping to cloud my way to victory. Okay, so we got a cloud. We got rid of both of those guys. Don't hit me! So you know what I just realized about this level? If you kill the Lockytoos, they don't throw enough of the spinies to activate the vines. So it becomes like an impossible task to be able to collect all of the pink coins. Yeah, I know that's the idea. It's just... I don't want to do that, <laughs> is my issue. Well, that was unfortunate. But at least... Oh, man. Personally, what I would prefer about this level is if the vines all spawned in right away so I didn't have to worry about activating them like this. And, like, you can keep the Locky 2s as an obstacle, but... To have them wait to throw the spinies and make sure that they hit all of the note blocks... It's like, I could be doing better things with my time. Can you guys, like, throw over here, please? That'd be wonderful. Thank you. And now over here. Thank you. And now we got zappies. Oh, man, I just... When I see them start to, to fire up, I just... I panic and I lose... All control. I swear their throws are becoming more and more RNG.
I think this is it. This is the run. This is the run. Holy crap. Holy crap. Thank goodness. See, that's all I had to do. I had to threaten ending my stream to be able to beat this. Whew. Man. I gotta say, the difficulty really ramped up in these last two worlds, but I, I'm digging it. I really appreciate the challenge. Mm -hmm.